Okay. Oh, Sean Moose. This is my potato garden. It doesn't look like much right now, mainly because it's ready to be harvested. I'm going to show you the harvesting and planting process. This is literally all the work I'm going to do between now and when I harvest again. I will not water, I will not fertilize, I will not weed, I will not till, I will not hill. Although this year I didn't hill. Next year I'm going to just to see if I can get more potatoes because my crop yield is a little low. But my crop is actually like quite awesome. They're very pretty. Very, very pretty. And I'm not using any tools. Well, God given ones. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna try see what we got under here. Oh, it's the little things. They're fake. They're everywhere. Anyway, let's see what happens. Well, I know what kind of potatoes we're getting. Yay! Don't want to throw away that one. I think you want that one. <laughs> that one's going to keep us from starving. <laughs> I think it's essential. Essential. Anywho, let's dig in. So this is the process. It's kind of fun. I'm on my hands and knees. Do I look like I'm in pain? No. Very comfy. Let's see what we get here. <sighs> What is that? What is that? That's a tater. <laughs> Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. If only we had some taters, precious. Oh wait, that's not what he said. I found the original. Would you like the original for supper? Uh. Here's the original. He looks yummy. It looks better than the other one. <gasps> really? Oh, it's all over. You got a lot more in this one. Yeah. You'd think, because I left these in the ground. I didn't, you know, go harvest them all when farmers and everybody says you're supposed to harvest them. So they should be all rotten by now, right? Yeah. As you can tell, they're rotten. Well, I mean, this one is. But this one's supposed to be rotten. He was the seed. The original seed. Okay, there's part of this plan that is kind of gross, but just this one little part. Okay, so, I'm gonna dig in, really dig in. See if there wasn't any more I'm missing. I didn't see. This is not hurting my hands, by the way. You can tell I'm not using gloves. Another one. Okay, so there's the dirt. Everything I've been pulling back is not dirt. This is this is wood chips. This is awesome. Show me your hands. I'm gonna run some water. <laughs> okay. So biggest one, that one or that one? Um. Yeah, what, do, do either of them have an eye? Well, yeah. That one has a bunch of eyes. That one does too. They're the same. Oh. Right or left? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe always is the opposite of where you started. <laughs> I know. <laughs> left or right? Left. Okay, so here's my planting process. And, oh no, are my eyes pointed up or pointed down or pointed sideways? That's also a huge thing that people care about. I don't. Don't you need to chit it or coat it and stuff? Oh, yeah. Um, I need to coat it in wood chips. People say you want to cut into them. Ugh. The reason that people say to cut into them is because you'll get more plants. This is true. From one potato, you can actually get a plant for every single eye. This is true, but think of how to raise a baby. If you have a baby and you don't give it the adequate amount of food, it will grow and it'll have problems. Whereas if you give it more than enough, which you can tell from that rotten potato, it didn't even use all of it, it used some of it. If you give it more than enough, it will thrive. And this is the product of two plants 
and this is my first year doing this. I have never done the back to Eden method or Paul Gauchy's garden method. And so, do you need to cut them? No. Give them all the food you need. Do I need to coat them in sulfur so they don't get moldy? No. Is this gonna rot over the winter? No, because I have this thing called wood. It is an insulator. It will protect it from the cold. And next year I'll have a potato plant here. And I won't water, I won't hill, I won't till, I won't fertilize, I won't weed, I won't have potato bugs. If I do, there's gonna be like three or four of the whole section. And I won't have to work. We should have pointed out the 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 how wet the ground was. I, I think you can kind of tell. My hands are moist. When was the last time we got rain? Uh, I don't know. It it actually rained a little more often than it's supposed to, or it normally does here in Hayes. Um, <clears throat> but any gardener will tell you that you need to water your potato plants what once a week or so. I never ever watered them. Not once. We probably had two or three weeks where it was a hundred day or hundred degrees straight. every day. Yeah. yeah, for two weeks straight, it was just like ninety-five to hundred and five degree weather every single day with no rain. Uh, that would kill your potato plants. Mine did fine. I guess you know I did have weeds. See this bindweed, but oh well. It's not going to reseed very well because the seed has to get down into the dirt. Oh, you don't dig the dirt. You noticed I didn't dig the dirt. You put it on top, you lay it over. If you're starting this in grass, mow the grass down as low as you can, put the potato on top and put eight to 10 inches of wood chips. I'll tell you right now, the reason I think I'm getting as low a yield as I am is because I only put about six inches on. So I need to almost double what I did. So anyway, this is Sean DeMuth. This is my garden. Have a good day.